they have a lighter pink than this. It's very chalky pink. I didn't like it. Like milky pink. But this was cute. <laughs> so I got this for you guys. This one. I'm not keeping for myself. I'm gonna give it away. Oh, I forgot to show you. So, um, oh, another reason why I'm up this late. Right now it's 1.27 or 1.30, I think. Probably 1.35. Um, and, uh, I was, I've been having problems, like I said, with my leg and my groin. Um, and it sends, like, it gives me, like, restless legs and, um, um, pain throughout the night on my left, on my right leg. Like, sciatic pain all night long. It doesn't matter what position I'm in. So, I was, I had to go. Me and my mom went back 30 minutes away from her house to my house. I went to pick up some medications that I got from the hospital the other day that, that since it was, let me see, Thursday when I went to the hospital. I almost stayed overnight, um, but uh, I didn't have to stay the night. That night, I, uh, I opted not to. Um, I wouldn't have done any, I wouldn't have done any good anyway because they weren't going to be able to do an MRI on me that night. Um, that I need a bigger, a bigger, um, circumference tube or whatever. And they kind of put me in a specialty one, unfortunately. But I needed to go get my Manjaro. Since I started Manjaro, I've lost 11 pounds, guys. Um, but they upped my dosage and I needed to go get it because every Saturday or Sunday I take the, the injection for Manjaro. And I also had to pick up some steroids and stuff, but, um, that they prescribed for me and lidocaine patch. But while I was there, I went to my house, which is just down the street, and I picked this bad boy up. I have to have this, like, uh, if I don't do this every night before bed, I will not get a good night's sleep. Like, I will toss and turn. And I took a shower tonight, and, uh, I went to bed, I felt pretty good, but my legs started bothering me again. And I was, I remember that I brought this, so... Basically, you just turn it off. I call it a jackhammer. And you have, it goes all the way up to 20. I'm not gonna go too far. I'm not gonna do it too much because it'll get loud. But this is real low. So it's really horrible. The pain is really bad. But um, 
I got this again because I do like these. And I explained in my last video that I like the Guru Nanda brand as well of these. Basically, they're just, um, I call them uh, pipe cleaners for your teeth, but really they're just, um, uh, what does it say here? They're soft coated wire bristles. You know, so basically they're, 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 they're wire and they have like little bristles on them around the wire and you just get in between your teeth and they get all the gunk out, but I do like this, but Kurunanda had, they had a bunch of Kurunandas as well, but they only have four of these in the Kurunanda and um, they're cuter, like the aesthetic looking, they're better, like they're prettier, but these, like you get, you get 10 of these, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you get ten of these. You can't beat that for a dollar twenty-five. So I got those. Those are new. I hadn't seen those before. I got this. Um, I just got this because sometimes I need. Like I get. I'm gonna use these in my car. Like. Before I go to somebody's house or something like that, go to the bathroom, I like to have, they don't have wipes. I like to carry wipes for myself. I feel extra clean when I use wipes, baby wipes, along with like toilet paper. So, um, yeah. I use like, they didn't have any dish wipes there. I didn't see any tushy wipes at the Dollar Tree. They have a, actually a brand that's made for adults. Like, you know, wipes, but they didn't, they didn't have it, so I didn't see it. So I just opted for the baby wipes. Um, these are pretty strong, like they feel thick. But I got those, and you get 72. You get 72 of them, and they smell like aloe vera and chamomile. So that's nice. The last two things. Thank you. 
Yes, I bought one for our giveaway. One for you guys, and one for me. Or one for me and one for you guys. The next thing I got, kittens, and this was kind of like... I think I showed this to you yesterday. But um, I went to One Dollar Tree, and they had...
and she had them all like neatly in here and they were stored nicely. Like, she had a bunch of them and I thought, you know, that's actually a pretty good little nifty thing to have, you know, to put your brushes in. I'm not very like big on Sassy Chic brand. I have found that the Sassy Chic brand can be really, really cheap. Where they have different brands there at uh, Dollar Tree that are a little bit better like made. But I'm taking a shot at this and I'm, it looks pretty well made. Um, but in the back here, this little thing that held it together, um, the plastic seems pretty durable. So I'll just see how that, how long that lasts. I think it'll last fine. I went ahead and got one of these guys because they're everywhere now. They, 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 they used to be like real elusive and now they have, they have them everywhere. Every time I go to a Dollar Tree, especially one in particular, they have them there all day, every day. They have lemon and they have orange and lavender scent. I got the lavender scent because I like lavender. Sorry, these things like fill on the ground and it was so excruciating to pick it up. Okay, let me get my bearings. All right, so they have these all all day, every day now. I see them all the time. I never get them because I'm just like, eh, I have so many wipes. But there are times when um, I thought this would be nifty to have, like in my purse, because it's times when I um, need a wipe to wipe my hands. And this is lavender scented, so it smells good. Um, I kind of wish I had grabbed a lemon one, because lemon always smells nice and clean, but I just got this one. And this comes with like 20 wipes. I don't think I'll be using these all at once or anything like that. Um, it takes me a while to wear to use these, but there are times, you know, when you need a wipe, so. All I know is that there's times whenever I've, you know, been in the car and like got sticky stuff on my hands or something like that, and I'm like, where is a wipe around here? And I always feel regret when I don't have one, but now I just went ahead and got this to put in my bag. Another thing I broke down and got, um, I wasn't going to get it, only because, I mean, to me it's like, some people love lip balms, some people love like, um, I like lip oils because they like make, they look pretty on your, they make your um, lipstick shine and stuff, you know. I also like um, lip glosses because they, like again, they shine your lips when you put lipstick on and stuff, but I kind of don't. Sorry guys, I was just watching my, my little microphone again because I'm always paranoid that this thing is like hitting the fabric. And it'll not sound good if it does that, but I've seen these in different flavors and scents. And they have blueberry, they have sugar cookie, they have lemon meringue, they have, um, they have this, I don't, they have just so many flavors and so many scents. And I went in and got this lip balm. Like I said, I'm not like, I'm not like, I don't. I don't really go for like lip balms all the time because my lips are pretty soft anyway to me and I don't think they last very long that like you put them on for a second and they last for maybe about five minutes until you lick all the product off and then it's gone but they make your lips feel nice but I think it's more of just you know having smelling this on your lips and stuff like that it's kind of nice so I wanted to try it I wanted to see if it was anything that um, I might want to get for giveaway in the future. Basically, I want to know if it's good enough to add in a giveaway or if it's too cheap. It looks pretty. It's shiny, like the packaging and everything. Um, it is by Beauty Intuition, which hasn't like really let, led me astray yet. But I got this in Blueberry. They had so many like flavors, but I just picked this one. I didn't know what to get, so I just was like, I'll just pick this one right here. So yeah, let me know if you've tried this before and you like it. Is it thick? I don't know. I'm gonna try it though. If I like it, I'll go back when I get some more revenue for my YouTube and I'll get some more um, of those for a giveaway. Another thing I got, guys, is another one of these I bought. If you didn't watch my video, the last video I posted, 
this at Dollar Tree. They have a bunch of um, colors there, different colors and um, shades. I came across this one called Flushed, and it's like an orangey, um, pink, red, orangey, pink, red. And uh, it looked really pretty, and I kept putting it back and picking it up, and I thought to myself, the reason I did that is because this is not one that I have, that I have found this weekend. I thought I found them all, but this one was like a lone one, and I don't remember ever trying this before flushed. So this might be a new color to me. So I went ahead and got it. This right here is like a pink, red, orangey, um, with glitter in it, like a shimmer. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all these like different colors in there. And uh, it's a two-in-one gloss and lipstick. So this is actually a really good product. Um, they just have it a lot. They always are. They have all. They are always stocked on this. Um, they never really run out of it. But it is. I have to say that I do like it. It goes on real smooth, satiny, and um, it feels nice when you put it on. And uh, the little shine. This right here, Applicator. The gloss is real shiny and pretty. So it's like you have a two-in-one. You can't beat that for a dollar. $1.25, so I don't have that one. I looked in my bag to see if I, you know, was missing this or not, and I, w I was missing this, so I added that to the LA Colors collection that I have. So I think I have, like, what, like five or six colors right now of these different colors. I want to do a video on this. I'm going to go home first, though, and look through all my makeup and see it, um, which of these I have. I have a couple of these and like different colors. Just a couple though. I, I think I have the purple one, the vibe. I think I do. And I think I have a red one, but I haven't seen the red one yet. Just the plain red. I haven't seen it. So these might be new colors to me and I'm going to do a video. The ones that I do have, I'm going to add to a giveaway. I'm not even going to open them. Oh, the next thing I have gotten, kittens, is um, something that I just, I can never, I never see it at my, any of my Dollar Trees. I always see it on TikTok, but I never saw it at the, at my um, Dollar Tree until today. Uh, they didn't have the Brazilian Mist or the Paradise Breeze ones, but they had the Soft Floral. This is by Power Stick for her. Basically, it's just deodorant wipes infused with hydrating, hydrating aloe vera, chamomile, and vitamin E. Um, deodorant wipes, it says, with notes of fresh flowers. I opened it. I didn't open the thing, but I opened this like this. And you can smell a very strong floral scent. The good thing is that it doesn't smell like rose, just rose, you know. That's not the single note in this. Um, scent, which is good because I would not have got it if it was just a rose scent. But um, what it says here is pull out tissues as needed. Gently wipe face, hands, and body to cleanse and rid of oil, dirt, and other impurities. Um, reseal the pack after use. So basically it's to um, you feeling, um, as I say, you can use this after the gym, hiking, camping, traveling, or anytime you need a cooling off and a cleaning up. But, um, I heard good things about these. I heard that it stays with you, like it's kind of, per it's perfumed, so it smells good. I'm not sure if I would use this on my face. I'm not sure. I might. It does say it has aloe vera, good stuff, vitamin E. But it also has fragrance, so I'm not sure about using this on my face. I guess I use a lot of things on my face with fragrance, but I'm still debating that. I might just use this like under my arms and right here so during the day. Um, or I might just do a giveaway with this. I'm not sure. Um, they had two of these. I grabbed one. I just got one. Just try it. 
may never see it again. And the very last thing I got, see I didn't really get that much. The very last thing I got is this Manny Doko. Manny Doko. Um, these are new to Dollar Tree. I've never seen these before really. I saw these the other day. Um, 
she already has um, very pretty eyelashes. They're already long and thick. Um, I debated not to give this to her, give this to her or not. I don't really know if she really uses a lot of mascara because her, her eyelashes, she was just gifted with like beautiful eyelashes already. I mean, if you saw her, you would know what I mean. Like, she doesn't even need a crimper. Her, her eyelashes are already full and really long. And they, she has like natural, natural mascara on her eyelashes. But I, I thought about giving her this uh, mascara that I had bought for myself. You know, I bought a bunch of them for gifts. And I thought, this is like debatable whether she's gonna use it or not. I'm still wondering if I'm gonna give that to her, not only because I, I want her to use it, you know, but I don't know if she will. Only because her eyelashes are already, like, naturally long and thick. And, like, they already have mascara on them, but natural. Um, like a year ago, I went to Dollar Tree. And I bought a bunch of these for gifts, for giveaways and stuff. And I had, I had like, several of the, I have, like, a couple more of these. And I added them. See, it's Bolero. You can't go find Bolero really anymore. And this is when this brand was all over the place at Dollar Tree. It's a, a body butter, though, guys. It's super. It smells good. Somebody had punctured like a bunch of these at the. They have this like foil, and it was really. It's really. It's kind of thin. Somebody had punctured all of them. Made me so mad. So it took me a while to like find ones that were completely sealed. And this one is whipped body butter, watermelon, and raspberry. A burst of fresh, juicy hydration. And it really is, guys, because I kept one for myself. And it's raspberry and watermelon. It's so good. And it's real thick. So this is like perfect for like after shower or like you really just want to indulge yourself in a nice thick you know lotion session yeah so I got that for her um next thing I put in here is this um little ear row aromatherapy diffuser I couldn't believe they had this at Dollar Tree but um it's a cheap little diffuser but I mean it does the job I'm sure and you just press that and it goes to turn it on um you remove the part this part I don't wanna I don't I really don't wanna open this oh there we go when you're ready to use it you just turn it like that and um, the air, the I'm not too sure how to open this yet. I don't want to break it. I have the um, instructions. Um, I have the instructions at home, but. Uh, I forgot how, you, how to open this or anything like that, but these, um, this one, instead of plugging it in, you just unscrew this little thing and um, put batteries in here. And uh, it takes like two AAA. Oh yeah, here's the, the the instructions are right here. So basically, this is water-free diffuser. You don't use water with this. It, uh, the instructions are right here. It says, um, place the aromatherapy diffuser on a flat dry. Rotate the base of the aromatherapy diffuser and remove the base. So basically, you take this and, um, <laughs>
push any like absorb uh, absorb pads absorbing pads you place them in here I think you put them I forget where you put them maybe right there and then you just put them back and you let the, the little fan like hit that and it uh, starts to spread the um, concentrated pillow mist and they use it with uh, 
also that size of the fragrance of some of your essential oils. Um, yeah, I gave her one of these two kittens. I like seven of these. Um, seven of like six of these in the caramel salted caramel. I have one, just one, um, like frosted cookie or something like that. Sugar cookie in a blue bottle. I'm going to keep the, the, the frost or the cookie because that's the only one I have. But the rest of these I'm going to give away to give away. So, um, I already gave my mom one and I'm giving her one. I have one. They're hand sanitizing sprays, by the way, by their dupes for Dutchland. I've never even heard of that brand. This is supposed to be a dupe for Bath and Body Works, I believe. Um, but it has raspberry mimosa and peach bellini. I got this a while back, like maybe two months ago or a month and a half ago. And um, I just, I like the packaging the most. They smell really good. They're not super thick. I tried some. Um, at the store I tried a little bit because one of them was already open. And I just kind of felt it. I'm like, they're not like super, like they're not balms or anything like that. But like a thick balm. They're just a regular like lotion, but they smell really good. So I, I thought she might like that one. Cover. 
native brand and one of these in this bag. The only thing is that it's got too heavy and it's gonna break the bag. So I had to make a decision. I have already given her a native brand when she first moved into her apartment. I came, um, I had just come from a Dollar Tree down, down the road from her and I came with a bunch of stuff that I had bought and I just felt compelled to give her something of my stash. So I gave her one of my native dupes um, and the uh, mint coconut, no, mint cucumber. And uh, I gave it to her so that way she could shower with it. And I gave her some other things. So I had another one, I added another one to this. But every time I put it in the bag, it just felt like it was gonna bust the bag. So I just went ahead and said, she, I already gave her one. I made peace with that. I said, I gave her one already. And I went ahead and added this candy apple. I have another one of these, so it's okay. Um, I went ahead and added this one though, by Spa Luxury. It smells super good and it goes on like oil. And uh, the lather's real pretty and stays on. The smell does, it smells very sensual. So this was nice. I thought she would like that. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know where that came from, but, um, I went ahead and gave her this. I, uh, I had this in a giveaway box for giveaway. Um, but I'm not going to give it to you guys because it kind of came undone. It kind of came undone right here, but she'll be fine with that. Um, it's not ruined or anything like that. In fact, it probably was like that when I found it at the Dollar Tree. Some of them do that. They just kind of come apart from the pull away from the plastic opens. But it's really cute. She loves the man, uh, Mandalorian. And she loves this little Grogu. And it's a little hand towel. She can have it in her, in her bathroom. These are actually cute if you put them in water. Let them expand get big and you can use them like a little washcloth so it's so cute and guys I think that that was the end of the products that was the end of the actual like big products but the last thing I got her is this you are enough book and uh, it's, a, it's a personalized book that you make you personalize it like you put two from and the date and then it's got like inspirational little quotes and stuff like feed your faith and your fields will starve to death and it puts like powerful ways you inspire me are and then you write down like something about your friend right or whomever this is for today is a gift it says that's why they call it the present and it says you can do this um, though we travel to find the beautiful, we must carry it with us, or we find it not. And it says the qualities I admire most in you are. So it's like, this whole book is like that. It's filled with quotes, um, meaningful quotes, and like little, um, personalized, um, sentences that, uh, or, you know, questions or whatever. Like one woman that you encouraged me was... And my friend sometimes gets depressed um, because she feels like she's not good enough for this or that she can't make ends meet this month or whatever. So I got her that book to write in it so that way she can remember she's loved and cared about by me and other people, of course. And then I have our picture um, together. Her name is Brittany, by the way. I've known her for, I think, 12 years. She's literally known me through thick and thin. Or thinner, I guess you could say. This was back in 2017, by the way, guys. I had lost a ton of weight. And I gained it all back. <laughs> but, um... I have... They gave me, um, for a PR thing, they gave me, uh, sent me a little camera that, um, takes a little photo paper like this and it'll you know, um, do, uh, instant little pictures for you, and, um, I went ahead and used, I had, I had, I had it there for months, hadn't 
watched it after doing my review and I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to use it to make um, pictures for Brittany to add to that book. So I printed out a bunch of little pictures. I ran out of photo paper, sadly, um, before I was able to finish all the pictures and it takes a while for those, like the paper to come. So I just went in and just picked these out. I thought this was just some, something cute. I like this picture of me, like with these makeup brushes. And um, here's another one of me and her together. I had some other cute ones of me and her, but um, I wasn't able to print them all out. I took a flower picture one time a while back at a, at a grocery store. I always like this picture. This is not filtered, guys. This is real. It's like a picture of the sun. I just happened, it was actually a video, and I just happened to tilt my head down, and the sun's rays just were, like, on top of me, and this is what happened. I did not filter this. The reason why it looks like it filtered is because it was really bright, like the sun, so it kind of has that, like, I don't know what filter that would be, but it's got, like, its own little filter to it, <laughs> but no, I didn't, that's a natural filter there. And then lastly, I'm going to put this in that book. So all these pictures I'm putting in the book. But this is my, by far, the fav my favorite one that I, that I have. Me and her. I have some other favorite ones, but I wasn't able to print them all. I was going to print like five more pictures to put in here. But I thought I'd add it like one here. Of me and her. And then as I, I go... Just put it like down here. Add another one like over here. And then in the back of the book, another one there. It says your joy is not in the things. It is in us. So I think she's gonna like this um, book. I'm also gonna put stickers on it. I forgot to get the stickers out of my bag that I have, but I'm gonna add stickers to it flowers and a bookmark in here that uh, is a homemade bookmark with um, flowers like pressed flowers and that here they are I went to a graduation party this um, past weekend when Houston Texas my husband's um, little cousin graduated, and um, she had these. They are they look like real press press flowers, but they're really stickers, guys. They like made these bookmarks, and they're so cute. I'm giving one to one one of my kittens here. Um, this that follows me to Erica ASMR. I'm giving one. They look like press flowers for real. I think I'm gonna give this one to Erica, but um, I was gonna give one of these to uh, my friend Brittany in her little thing and keep one for me. But um, I think I'm gonna give this one to her right here, like that. Um. away from where she lives and um, she will usually come
she came over and was just like, where's my gift? And I was like, wait a minute. I said, I can't give it to you yet. I felt so bad. I said, I can't give it to you yet. And she goes, why not? And I said, because I forgot. I said, I have, there's something like very, very important in this, like, like a pivotal gift that um, needs to be, I need to do something with it. I actually showed it to her. I wanted to give her a sneak peek, but I felt bad. I didn't show her the actual, the book. Um, we went to a Dollar Tree later on after lunch, and I showed her the book that I was going to give to her. I didn't show her any pictures or anything like that. I just showed her the book because she was just itching to see what was something in there. And uh, I told her, that's your sneak peek, and that's it. <laughs> I said, I'm giving you a book. Just no. And I didn't feel so bad about it because I was like, she doesn't know, like, what I've, uh, what I'm gonna write in that book. She doesn't know what I'm gonna write in the book. She doesn't know how it's gonna look, so I'm just showing her, you know, something that I added to it. But I just feel bad because I had, um, I forgot to put this in there. Oh, yeah. 
to donate to my GoFundMe. That's on a, you know, a not will, not willing basis. If you just feel compelled to do it, you have the means to do it, you want to do, you want to show appreciation for the channel. That's your way of tipping me. You know, what I mean, just give a leave a, a tip for my mother-in-law to, so that way we can move right here. Um, it may seem like I'm spending tons and tons and thousands of dollars. I have not spent a thousand dollars at Dollar Tree. Um, I have spent maybe like sixty to a hundred dollars at Dollar Tree, like in two, two, a month, a month and a half. Um, a lot of this stuff um, I get with uh, my YouTube money, and I'm talking about my personal money, guys. My personal money for my husband and my myself. I get revenue from YouTube and TikTok and TikTok. That's the money that I'll use. My husband's already told me. If you're gonna use the money, use the revenue from your, you know, TikToks and stuff like that, okay? And since I am doing giveaways, I figured that that's the best route to do it. If I want to spend my money on to get Dollar Tree to do giveaways and stuff, I, you know, I should be able to do that without uh, my moral character being questioned. Um, also, guys, um, my mother-in-law did leave a, me a comment on my community post, and you can see there, you know, to any of y'all that question or that, you know, are wondering if I am using the money from the GoFundMe, I want to put your, you know, uh, doubts to rest there and um, see that she is, that I have not touched that money. That is her money. That is not my money. That is not my husband's money. That is her money. And um, I never said that I was using a base just solely on taking flights up there and back. Um, I said that we were going to use that money for everything. <laughs> for everything. Everything. Flights. Truck. Gas. Moving. Everything. So that is why it has a, it has a 303, a $3,000 range on it. And I just put that on there as a whatever. Like if it gets to that, then it gets to that. That's why I let it just keep going because there's always generous people out there that are willing to donate something, even if it's a dollar, you know what I mean? Nobody's forcing anybody. I just really hate it when people are so ugly that they're like, and that person was threatening me. I know it was just a, a sad, pathetic little troll, but it's like, um, it did give me stress that night. And uh, I want to say thank you to all of you that make comments and that actually donated after that I want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart you know you just don't know that you know you're helping us out a lot and um, with monetary not rich you know um, a lot of this I get my mom buys me um, so yeah you know that's what moms are for right <laughs> I mean, she like sees that I love Dollar Tree and or whatever that she pays for my lunch a lot. I pay for her lunch, you know. Um, we don't. My mom, she just likes to do things like that for me sometimes, you know. And um, I let her because I, there's times when I go places and I buy her things too. So it's like we love each other like that, and we. We know that that makes each other happy, so we do that with each other, so. Um, tomorrow will be my last day here, and then I go back to my home with my husband. He should be back tomorrow, so. I look forward to seeing my husband. I miss him when I'm not with him. I love being with my family, too, like my mom and my brother, but, you know, my husband is my husband. I love being with my husband, you know. I did get married to him because I love being with him, so. That being said, kittens, I want to just say I'm sorry if I haven't gotten to everybody's comment. Um, I've just been hurting really bad. It takes time for me to write comments because I don't just like to heart a comment. Especially like a comment that's really long that somebody puts thought and, you know, um, caring into it, like thought into it, leaves me a big paragraph. I don't like to just heart that to me that just isn't enough so I want to be able to like talk with that person and tell them really thank you and express my feelings towards the comment um and then doing that I have to like think about what I'm gonna say and then write it out and um if I do that to about 20 comments that's a long time you know doing that so that becomes overwhelming for me so just know that I read everybody's comment all of your comments are read 
usually I do them 